सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग आर सीरीज ऑन फिल्ट्रेशन वेर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्लेट एंड फ्रेम फिल्टर प्रेस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अनदर टाइप ऑफ इक्विपमेंट यूज फॉर फिल्ट्रेशन एंड विच इज पॉपुलरली नोन एज रोटरी वैक्यूम फिल्टर और इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रोटरी वैक्यूम ड्रम फिल्टर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी लुकिंग एट द वर्किंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ रोटरी वैक्यूम फिल्टर्स सो गाइज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द वीडियो विल बी फर्स्ट लुकिंग एट द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रोटरी फिल्टर्स सो गाइज इन द फिगर यू कैन सी अ रोटरी ड्रम फिल्टर दिस फिल्टर कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ हॉरिजोंटल सिलिंड्रिकल शीट मेटल ड्रम विच इज द हार्ट ऑफ दिस असेंबली एंड इट कैन वेरी इन साइज फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू फोर हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर इन डाय and 50 to 800 cm in length it depends upon the capacity which is required to be filtered out the outer surface of this drum is made up of perforated plate and it's covered with a filter medium which is like canvas the drum rotates at a speed between 0.1 to 2 revolutions per minute and the vessel in which the drum rotates is also agitated with an help of an agitator so it keeps the slurry agitated okay The space between these two drums is divided into two compartments or sectors which is by radial partition. Each of these compartment is connected to a special type of rotary valve. As the drum rotates, the vacuum and air are alternatively applied to each compartment, which is a key part of the filtration process. Apart from cast iron, these filters can be constructed using various materials such as stainless steel, titanium or even plastics like PVC. This type of material provides significant improved resistance to corrosion when dealing with various type of slurries. So guys, this was a brief discussion about the construction of rotary drum filters. Now moving on next with the main discussion of this video that is the working of rotary filters. In the working of rotary vacuum filters, there is a drum which is the main part of the filtration unit which is immersed to a desired depth into the slurry which is to be filtered. There is also agitator which is installed in the vessel keeping the slurry in motion and that is to prevent the settling of solids in the vessel. Then vacuum is applied to the portion of a drum which is submerged into the slurry through the rotary valve and on applying the vacuum the slurry which is to be filtered loses the mother liquor as a filtrate. The filtrate is sucked into the compartment and the solid gets deposited on the cloth to form a cake of desired thickness. the thickness of the cake may vary upon the speed of the drum and which can be regulated by adjusting the speed the higher the speed the lesser will be the cake formation while with lower speed higher cake formation will be achieved and also higher speed of rotation will lead to the higher rate of filtration the filtrate is separated from the cake by using a vacuum and it is led to pass through the filter cloth and is collected in the collection tank through a internal pipe and a rotary valve Now the filtered collection part is clear to us. After the filtered collection part comes the cake part as the portion of the drum on which the cake is formed comes out of the slurry. The cake is washed properly by spraying wash liquid on the cake rotating. The wash liquid after washing leaves the filter medium through a rotary valve and is collected separately in a separate tank. Here washing is done with a purpose to remove the impurities which is trapped into the cake. After washing the cake enters into a drying zone as the drum rotates. It is where the cake is partially dried by sucking the air through the cake of the solids. After the cake of the solids has been sucked as dry as possible then vacuum is cut off and the cake is removed by using scraper. The cake is scraped off by using a doctor knife which is installed itself in the assembly. There are even some chances of cake getting stuck into the filter cloth and to resolve this issue a little air is blown under the cloth to aid the removal of the cake once the cake is removed from the drum sector it re-enters the slurry and the cycle is repeated usually one third of the cycle is used for filtration one half of the cycle is used for washing and air drying and the one sixth of the cycle is used for cake removal okay i hope This working of rotary vacuum dryer is clear to you and if there arises any question do let me know in the comment section this working of rotary vacuum filter is a very compact process which involves all the types of filtration operations it involves various operations like filtration 
then cake removal process then it also involves the washing cycles or washing process all of them in a single cover system so guys this was about the working of rotary vacuum filters now comes the advantages and disadvantages of rotary drum filters so the four main advantages of rotary drum filters are that it is entirely automatic in action and thus the manpower requirement is very low the next is efficient ml removal with the cake consisting of coarse solid it is possible to remove most of the liquid from the cake before getting discharged then another advantage is of large capacity this type of filter has large capacity for its size therefore it is widely used for filtration of large quantity of free filtering materials and the last advantage is of flexibility in operations by changing the speed it is possible to build up the cakes of varying thickness and with fine solids the thickness of the cake is small and is large with coarse solids so guys these were the four advantages of rotary drum filters now moving on to its disadvantages so the first disadvantage of rotary vacuum drum filter is the low pressure working range the maximum available pressure difference is limited to less than 1 atmosphere which is one of the drawback of rotary drum filters then next is the less visibility with hot liquids as it being a vacuum filter a difficulty is encountered in the filtration of hot liquids due to their tendency to boil then another disadvantage is of cake discard problems this type of filters cannot be employed for material forming relatively impermeable cakes or the cakes that cannot be easily removed from the filter cloth and the last disadvantage is of high initial cost initial cost of this type of filters and vacuum equipment is very high so guys these were the advantages and disadvantages of rotary vacuum filters i hope all the covered points of rotary vacuum drum filter which were working construction advantages and disadvantages are clear to you so guys that's all for this video and for more informative content related to chemical engineering process engineering chemical safety industrial safety you can subscribe to this channel and guys if there arises any questions in your mind feel free to list them down in the comment section i'll give my maximum effort to answer the questions thanks for watching and see you in next video